In 2011, BMW launched a car that had the petrol head salivating. Using the 135i coupe as a basis, it gave that car to the M division to tweak, and the result was something they called the 1 Series M coupe. A car that a lot of people said was very close to the M3, although it didn't have quite the same amount of performance or power, but it was certainly a car that placed the emphasis on sheer driving pleasure. Fast forward to 2012 and BMW has launched a brand new 1 Series 3-door hatchback. And topping that range is a car they call the M135i. It's certainly not the 1 Series M Coupe reincarnated, but it does have some of that M car magic. While the M badge is BMW's expression of performance car motoring as epitomized by the iconic M3, M5 and M6 nameplates, the M designation also tends to find its way into cars that aren't true products of the testosterone fueled M division. The M135i is not an M1, but it's been designed to offer performance motoring fans something more than the premium but pragmatic qualities of the normal 1 series hatch. The new BMW 1 Series hatch has grown in every direction except height, which means it's a longer and larger car with an extended wheelbase. The result is a vehicle that looks awkward from some angles and has lost some of the aggression of the original. The M135i, however, does offer some more visual muscle, thanks to a bolder front end with larger air intakes, extended sills and a deeper rear apron. The headlights on either side appear almost too big for the available real estate, their blurry-eyed presence emphasized here by the LED eyebrows and light rings of the daytime running lights. It's certainly striking, if not conventionally attractive. By comparison, the rear view offers a more sculpted, balanced design garnished with a gloss black apron that hosts big bore exhaust tailpipes on either side. The angular lines add poise and geometric appeal, while the muscular haunches and handsome 18-inch alloy wheels emphasize the M135i's athletic, planted stance. BMW has always created driver-focused interiors and the new 1 Series is no different. In fact, there's a great interaction between car and driver here, partly due to the improved iDrive system and the way it interacts with a slimline full-color display. The longer wheelbase means there's more room at the back and the boot has a 360-litre capacity. It's certainly a big improvement on the previous generation 1 Series. The finishes are classy without resorting to ostentation and the switchgear and controls are intuitively located. There's no need for a degree in rocket science to understand what's on offer. Of course, it has to be said that the two-door configuration remains inherently inconvenient, making the five-door variant by far the more practical option. The test car featured BMW's 27,000 Rand optional connectivity package, providing for seamless integration of Bluetooth telephony and USB-based audio, as well as sat-nav and internet functionality. But here's the part I really like. Right now, BMW's twin-scroll turbocharged straight-six engine is one of the best in the business. The 3-litre delivers 235 kilowatts of maximum power, 450 newton meters of torque, all to propel a mere 1,440 kilograms of sheet metal. The gearbox is an 8-speed automatic in this particular instance, and drive, of course, in the best BMW tradition to the rear wheels. The chassis acknowledges the presence of all that muscle and comes equipped with some M-derived trickery included on m tweak suspension that tautens at the hatch's road manners and a variable ratio steering system supposed to offer both slow speed maneuverability and high speed feel. With a near 50-50 weight distribution and loads of power, it comes as no surprise that the M135i is a nimble handler. You can choose between several driving modes, including normal, sport and sport plus modes, and each of those adjusts aspects like the throttle mapping, the steering input and also the damper settings. In sport plus mode, this car is at its absolute best, and the electronic nanny allows you to enjoy it just enough to give you that sense of slight oversteer. The variable ratio steering has its flaws, however. At low speeds, it feels over-assisted and lacking in feedback, a bit like a PlayStation device. But once driven with vigor, there's a vast improvement with real weight and feel on offer so that cutting clean arcs from apex to apex becomes instinctive.
The power to weight ratio of 167 kilowatts per ton means that this is a very rapid car. In fact, the automatic version we're testing here is even quicker than the manual thanks to the seamless and very quick shifts of the automatic gearbox. 0 to 100 time comes in at 4.9 seconds. Top speed, as always, limited to 250 kilometers an hour. But really, that's an inconsequential stat because this car is all about driving and driving response. There's enough mid-range grunt to make gearing down unnecessary in most cases, but hell, it's worth just to hear the blip of the throttle and the rising roar of the engine. There's a lot to like about the new BMW M135i. It delivers storming performance, has engaging road manners, and a real talent for agility, which means spending time behind the wheel is an absolute pleasure. It also has a roomier cabin, and it's docile enough around town despite all that power. In fact, if anything, this car is perhaps a bit too polished. But then, it's not a real M car. That said, the overall balance of the M135i may well make a more committed M version quite unnecessary. Loads of urge, a seamless auto gearbox, a superb chassis and some clever M-car tweaks conspire to create a balanced and enjoyable performance machine. No other hatchback offers this level of performance, but it does come at a price, and the BMW needs to be driven with gusto to show off its best.